Hello everyone, this is Mr. B, your math analyst. And today our video is about finding the area of any triangle. It could be a right triangle or, or a non-right triangle. Okay, so if you want to know how to use the image of a sandwich for remembering this concept, please keep in tune. Let's see this. So, as I mentioned it in the introduction of this video, we're going to learn how to find the area. But before anything, I want to say something. I want to say that we are recording this video in November, which is the month where my country, Panama, celebrates uh, its birthday. And I want to say happy birthday to Panama, but also congratulations to all of those Panamanian, those that live in Panama, but also those that are worldwide spread uh, in, in different places. Okay, so congratulations. And let's see how we use, as I said, the concept of a sandwich to find the area of a triangle. And first of all, what I want to uh, tell you is that maybe if I tell you how to find the area of a triangle, you are going to say like, hey, I already know this. I know that the formula is base times height divided by 2. Okay, so let's let's see this in, in the image that I have here. So we can use that formula that you already know, base times height divided by 2, when the height is clearly given, as you can see in this triangle. Okay, but what happens when we have a non-right triangle or when the height of the triangle is not clearly given. So what I'm talking about is something like this, okay? What happens when we have something like this, okay? Uh, suppose that we have an angle here of 25 degrees. We have here, uh, let's suppose that this side is um, 15, this is 11, and this is 9. So, notice that this triangle that I have drawn here, first of all, it is not a right triangle. It's a non-right triangle, okay? So, we don't have the height. Okay, we can use any side as a base, but we don't have the height. So what happens when we have this uh, type of triangle? Well, first of all, in this case, we need to think about a sandwich. What do you mean with a sandwich? Mr. B, what are you talking about? Okay, a sandwich, what I call a sandwich, is the following idea. So every time, I'm going to erase here, and I'm going to take advantage of what we have here. So every time that we have a one side, for example, as I said, suppose that we have this, and suppose that this is 30 degrees, and suppose that we have this, a, which is, again, 15. So every time we have this shape or this figure that we have here, where we have one side, okay, which is the bread, we have another side that is the other bread and we have the angle between the two sides which is the meat every time we have this we call this a sandwich okay and what happens with a sandwich well the idea is that every time we have this i'm going to label this so we have a suppose that this is a this is the side B, and this angle is the angle C. So every time we have this uh, shape here, the idea is that we can use this formula. A equals one half, so area equals one half, the side A times the side B, sine of the angle C. Okay, so this formula could be applied every time we have this situation where we have one side, we have another side, and we have the angle that is between the two sides, okay? So, let's see how we use this in a problem, okay? Okay, so, we have the situation, example number one, that is here, okay? And notice that we have uh, the shape of a sandwich, okay? So, we have the sandwich, we have the side AB, we have the angle A, and we have the side AC. So, 
And the question is, what is the area of this triangle? So basically what I need to do is one half AB sine of C, knowing that in this case, the side A is 9, the side B is 11, and sine of 35. Notice something. Actually, the formula does not coincide with the uh, labels that we have for vertices and sides in this case. However, you can just substitute, okay? Remembering that, okay, one of the sides is going to be a, one of the breadths, the other side is going to be the other bread, and then the mid is the sign of the angle, okay? So more or less you can work with that. It doesn't matter that it doesn't match uh, with the labeling of the triangle, okay? So we, when we uh, replace everything and we input that in our calculators, basically we just need to multiply. I'm going to show you how I uh, input this formula in my calculator. Okay, hold on. Let me zoom out so you see better. Uh -huh. So you can see there that instead of uh, writing one half, I replace it by 0 0.5, okay, which is easier. Okay, and basically I just need to enter this and it's 28.4 rounded to three significant figures. Okay, so the area of this triangle is 28.4, and remember that we have to write the units in square meters, okay? So this is the easiest example you're going to find about the area of a triangle that is a non-right triangle, okay? Let's see another example, okay? So the second example is a case where the area is given and one of the side is given, but the, the other side is what is requested. Okay, uh, so uh, the idea, as you can see here in the triangle is, uh, let me write the area. I haven't written it. So the area of this triangle is 69 square centimeters. And as you can see, we have the angle 74, we have 27, but we do not have the side AB. And that is what the question is. The question is, what is the side AB? Okay. So, due to the fact that this problem is about area, I'm going to use the formula of area because the context of the problem is leading me to work with area, okay? So, area of an unright triangle is one half, A, B, sine of, I'm going to, let me label in this case with the corresponding letter so it doesn't uh, confuse, no? A, okay, so it's one half, the side A, B, times the side AC, times sine of the angle A, okay? So notice that I adjusted the formula to what the case is, okay? Okay, so we know that the area is 69. The side AB is what I'm asking, uh, what is requested. Um, and the side AC is 27. So 27 sine of 74, Okay, remember that sine of something is a decimal, okay? So basically what I have is 0 0.5 times 27 times the sine of or times another decimal. And then everything is going to be multiplied by A, B, which is what the question is. Okay, so be careful when you are uh, solving this formula for this. Remember that this 2 that is here, it is dividing, so it passing doing the opposite. Okay, the opposite of dividing or division is the multiplication. So this 69 is going to be multiplied by 2. The 27 is multiplying, okay, AB, so it, it's going to pass dividing, as well as the sine of 74. The sine of 74 is multiplying AB, a, so it's going to pass dividing, as you can see here. Okay? Okay, so now let's input this in our calculators, okay? So here, let me put the calculator here. So I need to uh, input 69 times 2. And notice that I'm using parentheses before the 69 and after the, the 2. Why? Because the calculator needs to know that all that, 69 times 2, is the numerator of our fraction, okay? 
Now we're gonna let the calculator know what the denominator is. So that I'm gonna again open parentheses and close parentheses. 27 sine of 74. Okay. And notice that again, I'm closing parentheses, okay, after the 74. Okay. Uh, be careful that your calculator is in degrees. Okay. So it should be shown here. Okay, now I'm going to press enter, and as you can see, the answer is 5.32, okay? So, AB equals 5.32, and this is in centimeters. Okay, so this is another example. In terms of level of difficulty, I will say that this is medium level. So, the uh, area is given, and one of the sides is given, so we need to find the other side. Okay, let's go to the last example of uh, today. And remember that for this example, what you're going to do is you're going to see it, okay? It is a quadrilateral, okay? And I'm going to read it, okay? And then you're going to pause the video, try to solve it, and then you're going to play the video and you're going to check uh, the answer with mine. Okay, so the problem says the following. A land surveyor is asked to find the area of a piece of land. They walked around the land and made the following sketch, including the length of the sides and the angles of the quadrilateral. So you're supposed to be seeing the quadrilateral here. Okay, uh, there you have the measure of the different angles and the different sides. And the question is, what is the area of this quadrilateral? So please pause the video and let's see the answer of this problem. Okay, so I hope that you solve the problem without difficulties. So let's see how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so as you can see here, I have the quadrilateral, uh, it's already drawn, okay? And the idea is like, what I'm gonna do is, when I have a quadrilateral, I can split it into two triangles. So you can do it, it, do it doesn't matter in which way you do it, I'm going to do it in this way, okay? So not this, I'm using a, a, a different color, so you can see that, that that was not part, let me, uh -huh, that that was not part of, better, a, of the original shape. Okay, so now that we have here, I'm going to call the upper triangle area one and the triangle, the lower one, is gonna be the area two. So first I'm gonna find the area one. Notice that here I have the sandwich, okay? So for area one, what I need to do is one half, 44.7 times 63.2, sine of 98. So basically, uh, let me highlight this is the sandwich I'm working with, okay, as you can see here. Okay, so when I input that in my calculator, I'm going to, let me move this so we can have the area. I'm going to also, so I'm going to write the equal here to find the area. So when we input that in our, cal our calculators, it's 0 0.5 times 44.7 times 63.2 sine of 98. Okay, so this is 1,398.77, okay? For area two, okay? So for area two, I'm gonna be, let me change the color. I'm gonna be using this sandwich that you can see here, okay? So this is the sandwich I'm gonna be working with, okay? so. Area two is going to be one half, 60.8, 36.1, sine of 114. Okay, so 0 0.5 times 60.8 times 36.1, sine of 114. This is 1,002.56, okay? And now we need to add them. Just remember something before moving on. Uh, remember not to round until the very end, okay? So until the very last answer, there is where we round 
to three significant figures, okay? Meanwhile, we have to work with the a maximum amount of decimals that we have. Okay, so notice that I have my calculator here, okay, with the answers. And even though I have written 1398.77, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the calculator to copy paste the numbers. How? Okay, I'm going to do it again. Basically, here I have the cursor and I'm going to scroll up. Notice that the calculator is highlighting a, the answer that I want to copy and I'm going to go until the second last, okay, second to the last, and I'm going to press enter now, and notice that the calculator copied all the decimals, plus, now I'm going to highlight the second one, okay, so the last answer, and now I'm going to add them, okay, so the answer is 2,401.33, rounded to three significant figures, it's going to be 2,400, and notice that this is the place that I need to round, okay? Because the next one is one, I'm going to keep it in zero, okay? So, zero, zero, okay? And this is uh, square meters, okay? Probably a question that you have is, hey, why, if you are rounding to three significant figures, why you didn't write 240? Well, first of all, because notice that the answer with all the decimals is 2,000. If I write 200, I'm making a complete error in what I'm doing, okay? So, it's not the same writing three significant figures that rounding to three significant figures. So, I rounded to three significant figures. However, I'm rounded all the numbers that or, or the digits that we are supposed to write. Okay, so basically this is the answer for this problem. I hope that you got it. Uh, probably you did it in a different way. Instead of dividing the triangle in this way, you did it in, uh, in the other diagonal or using the other diagonal. It is okay, okay? So you can uh, work in those two different ways and you're gonna get the same answer, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed this a video and how we use the shape of a sandwich to remember the area of a non-right triangle. Okay, before leaving, please remember to subscribe, remember to give a like to uh, this video, and see you in the next video. Bye. Uh -huh.